The other day, we, I mean, I don't know if he listens to the show. I doubt he does. But um, we were watching uh, the, the segment where Trump was pretending that he could read uh, <laughs> the, the executive order. He was explaining the executive order that was written. And we were like, oh, God. We hope uh, Seferowitz. What, can, you, can you pronounce his name for me, please? Peter Serafinowitz. Serafinowitz, right. Serafinowitz. And he's a very funny guy. And there was something else he had done a long time ago that I also thought was really funny. I can't remember. And his Twitter, I, it doesn't seem to be as active on Twitter. Maybe I just don't see it. Maybe he's tweeting at a different time. He, he used to be more active. He used to do Q&As, but uh, hey, I haven't seen him lately. All right, so Peter Serafinowitz. Uh, and what else did he do? There was something else he did that was a big project. Like, I can't remember. He used to do this, I forget what it's like called, but it was a documentary, a, a mock documentary show uh, in the 90s. Uh, I might oh, my Google God. It. Don't tell me it was the 90s. God, I'm getting old. Anyways, so... Um, oh, he was in that rap, that rap, 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 rapping. Michael, you remember this skit, right? Oh, the 2000. are you serious? He's the, he's the host in that uh, rap 2000s. Oh, that stitch. guy's amazingly no, funny. No, very funny. Wow. And and I hope he doesn't mind that we play these clips on the show and then cut them up and uh, put them on YouTube. But then we the make more a people from it, you see. But, but the more people that we can get to watch these, I think we're doing a public service, frankly. It's some uh, of the because, most important comedy of this time. Because look, it's it's obviously less about um, you know you're you're not um, it just makes it easier for you to deal with Trump. It's not one of those things necessarily that I think it's going to uh, shake the undergirdings uh, of Trump, but it makes it easier for me to deal with Trump. And I just introduced it to Mila, and she now, my 11 year old daughter, I think like is going to be able to make it through the next three or four years because of this. Um, but so we were watching the, um, the, the, the clip from Trump when he was reading <laughs> the executive order to police officers and ostensibly explaining what it means, but all he was doing was repeating the words. So he would read it and... He would then repeat the words <laughs> as if it was by repeating the words, he's explaining it. And so, uh, but he did end up uh, doing Sassy Trump. So here is Sassy Trump. What is the title of this? Sassy Trump Aliens? So just listen. Here's what it says. This is what they're arguing. Whenever the president finds that the entry of any aliens, okay, the entry the entry of any aliens or of any class of aliens. So any aliens, any class of aliens <laughs> into the United States. So the entry of people into the United States, let's say just to be precise, if aliens into the United States. So anytime, whenever the president find the entry of any alien, or any class of aliens into the United States would be detrimental to the interests of the United States, right? All right, you have to go go see the whole thing so that he gets the the hits on this that he deserves and pass these things around to people. I mean, I really honestly think that like you really have two choices. I think it's either some type of sedative or alcohol. Or something like this to get through the next four years. All of the above. The mockumentary series he did was in 2002. It's called Look Around You. And that's what that rap 2000 uh, sketch was from. Yeah. Oh, I'm rapping. I'm rap, rap, rapping. <laughs> so good, man. Very funny stuff. We're going to try and get him on. I'm going to try and get him on. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Over. Subscri subscribe. Subscribe.